So if you watch any of my videos, you probably know that I've got a lot of tripods and I'm not crazy. It's just that when you're producing videos over time, you start buying different tripods because certain tripods do certain things and no tripod is perfect. So you have to buy different tripods for each situation, which is why I've got many tripods in the back there. They're kind of larger ones. I've got ones that are kind of in the middle, like that one or like that one. The one that I'm using with my camera right now is kind of like a, a mid-level one and that's quite good. But the one that I use probably the most frequently, the one that I use time and time again is this one in conjunction, uh, in conjunction with a little lavalier mic. I attach my phone to this and I can use it like a selfie stick. But really, I, I just, what I normally do is set it on the table and then I can extend it up. Now, I just got the measuring tape out there and from the base to the top of the tripod here, it's about 84 centimeters, which is quite good. But I went out, I've taken a chance, and I bought this Young Teng. I didn't know this was the brand, it doesn't say that on Amazon. Uh, this is £18.99 on Amazon UK. I didn't find the exact model on Amazon USA, but there are very similar models between $15 and $30. You will see a few different ones there. If you look on the back here, you can see that the max height of this one is 1.33 meters. And I got my trusted measuring tape out there and that is basically up to like here. It's like four and a half feet or something like that, you know, 4.3 4 feet or something like that. Um, it, it's quite, a, it's quite a, a, a big height. Now, as I said, I do have many tripods, but I really do like this form factor. I really just like the idea of, you know, you just kind of quickly flip out the legs and then you can extend it to the length that you want. Tripods work well, but when you're trying to get to the position that you want with a tripod, well, it's a little bit more of a pain. Take something like this, you know, I think the clip system is a little bit better than the, the, the lock system. Depends on the tripod, but you need to get it to where you want, like that, get it to the right level, and then you need to go to the next leg, and then you need to go to the next leg, and you need to try and get them all to the same level. Now, I'm saying that as if it's a lot of hassle. It's not, but when it comes to producing videos and taking photos or doing anything when it comes to work, you always turn to the quickest and the easiest solution. If I can just, you know, extend the legs and just do that and then get it to exact the exact position that I want, well, I'm going to use it more often, aren't I? So this is the Benno MK10. I love this, uh, but I have been thinking about getting a mega selfie stick, a super selfie stick. So that's what this is. You can see the model number at the side there, VCT1688. Now, one of the reasons I was attracted to this as well is that it comes with a few accessories. One being GoPro accessories. That's got a few attachments. So it's got a smartphone holder here. Um, this is quite cool. So it's, it's like one of those twist ones. You twist it and then you put your phone in. Um, I'm not sure how far that goes. I'll need to see. That's actually quite big. That That's going to hold. I, I suspect that might be able to hold even some tablets. That's 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 quite impressive. Um, so that's the, the little smartphone holder and you can see there's a tripod thread at the bottom. Um, everything else out here, nothing else in the box. We have a GoPro adapter as well. So if I put my GoPro in my case, I can attach the action camera. It comes with a little cool bag. I didn't realize that was going to be there. Always useful to have a bag for your tripod, of course. I really should have put my phone on airplane mode because it just flashes with messages. Okay, all this thing's falling out here. Does anyone speak Chinese? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, a manual which is, oh, we, we do have English, we do have English there. Uh, the manual is because this comes with um, an Android, well, it's, uh, I say an Android, it's a Bluetooth, it comes with a Bluetooth module that allows you to connect to your phone, your smartphone, your tablet, etc. Now, I must admit, some people love these things. I found that in practice, I don't use them that much, but this is it there, this is... You know, you get these everywhere, they're kind of generic, comes with a very basic little charging cable. And I will keep it there, it is handy to have on occasion. I've just found with this one, I I, I was using it a lot at, time, at the time because this one comes with a little Bluetooth um, connector as well. 
But I'll be honest, guys, like, w over time, what I find is it's just easier to set a timer on your phone, or if you're recording a video, it's easier to just trim the video afterwards. So, look at that. So, it extends like this. Works quite well, actually. Um, and at the top, we have the connector. Now, this connection part up the top is um, a lot more sturdy. That's quite cool there. So I don't know if you can see that there. So instead of using a ball head, so this is a kind of traditional ball head that goes down to 90 degrees at one side and the other side it kind of spins around. That's standard for a ball head. Um, this one goes all the way there and then flips all the way to the other side. And you've got a tightener. The legs are actually a little bit thinner than I thought it would be. I, I had it in my mind that it was going to be as big as that um, um, softbox holder in the background. But you just open this up and then I should be able to extend it. And let's see how big we can get this. So my camera battery died, but that turned out to be a good thing because I've spent another 20 or 30 minutes messing around with this. I tested my RX100 and I was testing different positions, you know, as far as st stability goes. Um, as far as height goes, you can see my trusted Benro here. It's about 84 centimeters extended. This is actually topping out higher than the quoted, with the grip anyway, when you've got this, uh, the tripod part here at the top, instead of a ball head. It's, it's about 1.35, 1.36. Um, and certainly with, with the, up to the, the smartphone level, it's actually about 137, 138 centimeters, 1.37, 1.3 um, meters with the, the official smartphone grip or the one that they provide. Um, there's a few things I really like about this. There's a couple of little things that maybe they've skimped on. Um, no device is perfect. What I would say about my existing, my previous selfie stick, and you know, this is really my go-to selfie stick. And one of the reasons I love this is just ease of use. And I'm sure you guys have used a selfie stick before. You know what this mechanism is all uh, is all about. You just go to the position that you want and then you can put it down. Now, this is fantastic in most situations, but what I would say is that one, it, it can wobble a little bit. But another thing is if you have your smartphone or your camera on top of this, if you have to go over and change a battery or do anything, sometimes when you push it, it, it slides down and that's not what you want. Um, you can tighten this, but it, it just doesn't seem to, to tighten up that well. So that's always a risk with that. Now, in comparison, the larger super tripod selfie stick, whatever you want to call this, the mega selfie tripod stick, um, this one uses a twist and lock system. Now, this is a selfie stick. This is a, a separate item which I got with my GoPro accessory kit. But the, the setup with this is 100% the same. It's a twist and lock system. So you unlock it, you extend to where you want to go, and then you twist it. Now, when you twist it, it's not moving. So in the initial setup, getting to where you want it to go, it's not as user-friendly as that. But maybe you could argue that that's better in, in most other situations because it means that you can't push it down, you can't change your recording angle, which is quite useful because you don't want to be recording a photo, uh, a video or a photo where you're, you're at a certain height and then you push it down by accident and then all of a sudden you're at a different position. So this uses the, the twist and lock system. Um, the height is, it's insane. It really is insane. This is um, something which I think a lot of people will find useful. I really should bring this down a level to make it easier to get this on and off. Um, yeah, I think that the height is quite good, but obviously from a stability point of view, if this tripod, for example, if I was sitting a DSLR on this, I think it'd be fine when it's extended like this, but I wouldn't trust a DSLR on this when it's like that. The higher you go, the less stable it is. Makes sense, it's the same for any other tripod that's got a vertical column um, that you can adjust. And this is the same, you know, in, in the picture, in the, in the sales page for this, they do have pictures showing you a DSLR on this. And would I trust a DSLR on this? Probably not at the highest level. I don't. I think it could do it, but obviously, you know, it, it's it's quite stable. But I, I I would feel more comfortable with an expensive camera, a heavy camera, being on a tripod that's a little bit more secure. Um, I do think it could do it. I just I'd be worried my, myself about balance, etc. Um, I just want to say a, a quick word about this smartphone grip 
because it's actually quite good. I'm actually quite impressed by that. And the reason I say I'm surprised by this is because generally the ones that are provided when you buy a tripod or anything else, generally the one they provide is pretty poor. Now, this one is one I bought separately. It was like £20 or so at the time. Um, this one's probably one of the best ones you can buy if you're a YouTuber because it's got the spirit level, it's got a, an adapter at the top so you can put in your microphone, it's got another tripod thread at the top if you want to connect something else. This doesn't have that, but for most people this is perfect because it's very easy to use. You put your phone in and then you tighten it up. So you've got the tripod thread at the bottom, if I can bring this over, tripod thread at the bottom and then you've got the twist lock at the top. I don't think this is an area that they've skimped out, I think this is actually quite a good option and I think I'm going to be using this sometimes or, you know, I'll leave it around, maybe attach it to a different tripod that I've got. I think this is a, a good option. I can certainly see myself using this if I don't need to attach a, a microphone at the top. So that's quite a good option. Now, as far, I'll bring this down a little bit. Um, as far as connecting things up, I'll bring this down just now. It's it's actually not too bad. Um, now, you can spin this on like so, uh, and you can tighten it up using the dial as well. Now, because of how this works, it's not the same as a ball head, but you can see that the range of motion that I've got there, when you get to the position that you want, you just tighten it up, but of course you can, you can do it there. If you want to get, you know, get it from a silly angle, you can. Um, but when it's tightened up as well, there's enough, you know, um, there's a lot of movement there that you can still move this around 360 degrees. It's a little bit easier with your phone in comparison to this, but yeah, you can move this around 360 degrees. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off just now because what I want to do is shorten this. And in fact, I should be able to demonstrate what I was talking about earlier. If I untighten this part, bring this on. Right, okay. So remember what I was saying with the twist and lock mechanism. I think this is going the opposite way from the other one, that's why I'm... So that's how it works, and look, it's stuck. That's it fixed, that isn't moving. So I need to twist it, and go all the way down, and then I can lock it. Now, as far as stability and all that goes, this is obviously more stable than um, my Benro. Now that's not moving there because I've not unlocked this yet. There we go, then I need to tighten it back up. Um, that's the, the part I needed to tighten up there. So as far as the stability goes, you just have to look at the base of these selfie stick tripods to see how this one can get up so high. I mean, look at the size of that. And that's how this one can hold a camera at 1.3 meters or whatever it is, 1.4 meters nearly. Um, the stability is there because the base is wider. It's, it is quite easy to use and if you don't, you know, you can set it up like this you know, you don't have to ex extend the legs the full way, you just adjust this dial here, and then, then I can, you know, move it around. It, it's pretty secure, at that, at that level, it is very secure. So one thing I want to show you before I go is what these all look like when they're at the lowest height. Now, I do think that this is without doubt the, the smallest option here. So you can see there, it's probably about, you know, this is maybe about 60% longer or higher, depending on <laughs> your perspective. Um, yeah, this is a little bit higher here, it's a little bit longer. Um, it's not too long. You know, th this one, it's very easy to walk around with this. You can put it in your jeans pocket when you're walking around or your jacket pocket, and it's very easy to put this in a bag. You can walk around with this as well, but you're not putting this in your jeans pocket, and you're probably not going to put this in your jacket pocket either. You really would put this into a bag. But it's certainly not big, and it's certainly not heavy, you know, in comparison to a regular size tripod, this thing is tiny and it's super light. But you can just see here, even when compared to this selfie stick, it's not that much taller. You know, there's not a lot in it, if you look at it there. Obviously this one's a little bit wider because you've got the legs there, like that. So overall, um, yes, this is something I like. It's something I'm definitely going to use. It kind of sits, for me anyway, in between this and my regular tripods. As I was saying at the start, this is probably my quickest and easiest option if I just want a very quick video. I attach my smartphone, I do that, and then I pop up. I'm good to go. 
Beyond that, when this couldn't get me the shot that I wanted to because of a lack of a table or something else, then I had to use a tripod. And like I was saying, this is a different tripod, but uh, these aren't hard to set up. But what you have to do is adjust each leg and get each leg to the position that you want. Now, there's benefits of doing that, getting certain angles, etc. But sometimes all I want is this shot, but a little bit higher. And that's where this comes in because I can just quickly set this up and then make sure I twist it the right way and turn it and that's it. Just attach my camera, attach my smartphone, an action camera, a webcam, lights, anything I want. But the, the real benefit here is the fact that this is light, it's portable and it's quick to set up. So at £18.99, I'm sure some of you might be concerned at the fact that there is you know, a lot of plastic on this, but that really is the market. You know, the, the tripod that I'm using just now uh, to record this video, the one that my camera's on, that one was like 70 or 80 pounds and it's about the same size as that. It's just what you have to pay if you don't want plastic. You have to pay extra for aluminium and carbon and all that. Um, but I don't think this is going to break. You know, it, it, it's kind of plasticky, but it doesn't look like it will break. The only part you really have to watch is for is the screws. Make sure you don't lose those screws. So overall, I think for the price, this is a, a good little uh, thing to have. If you're looking for a larger selfie stick uh, tripod or just a larger tripod, something to hold, something as light as a compact or smartphone or action camera, I think this is quite a good option. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave a link to the Amazon listing page so that you can check it out um, for yourself. But do your research. There's a lot of alternatives out there that you might want to consider instead. But I'm quite happy with this one. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this, so... I'm quite happy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.